If you attach something ferromagnetic like this washer to a magnet, not only does it stick, but the magnetic field travels down the metal, making it a magnet too, which means you can stick more and more things to each other, and they will continue to stick until you run out of magnetic field. You can do this yourself at home with anything ferromagnetic. Paper clips work pretty well, or washers like I have, or screws, or bolts, and they'll continue to stick to each other as long as the magnetic field is strong enough. You can see it's getting pretty weak here. And they'll all stay magnetized as long as the first one is still attached to the magnet. But if you want to go even further, all you need to do is keep adding more magnets to reinforce the magnetic field. I've got a few here, like this. Let's get the chain started, like that. And then I've got a magnet attached to this washer, so it will keep the magnetic field strong. And I continue to add one magnet, one washer, and we'll just see how far I can go. You can even sculpt it a little bit. Look at that. And then at the end, a whole bunch of paper clips. Eventually, the weight will make it fall off, but it's a lot of fun to play with magnets and make art. Speaking of art you can make with magnets, you can also make sculptures. When everything sticks to everything else, you can make some pretty fancy designs. This is a rare earth magnet, a very strong one, and a bunch of nuts that I've gotten. And this one here is an electromagnet, but electromagnets are a little different because they need an electric current to work. Check this out. This is sort of a magnet dude with crazy hair. There's an earth magnet here, and this is a giant screw, and these are some metal bits, and then I've got two more magnets at the top here to hold on his crazy wire hair. He's got crazy wire hair because he's crazy magnet dude. Now, of course, we couldn't just talk about magnetic sculptures without maxing it out, so let's max it out. This is a bunch of scrap metal from leftover experiments, and I've got a bunch of rare earth magnets, and now I'm gonna max out a magnet sculpture. Let's see. There you go, a maxed out magnet, me! I made this guy out of metal pipes with earth magnets in between, and these are his arms attached, of course, with magnets. His hand, his little metal pieces attached with magnet. Steel wool for the hair, and of course, hat non-magnetic. All right, here we go, ready? Uh, uh. Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. <laughs>